So it's time for us to start off now, and、uh, most of the audience are Chinese. I'll speak in Chinese. Today we're going to focus on this topic: more than secure container D plus Kata containers as Kubernetes runtime. I'm Zhang Lei, working for Alibaba Group, and my co-speaker is Mr. Li Fu, Li Fu Pan, working for the Hyper HQ. So today we will talk about Kubernetes project. First of all, let's have a brief look at、uh, the Kubernetes theory. So in the above la- layer, this is a controller control panel, which is also、uh, named as、uh, the master node. So if you、um, provide the command to this control panel, it will store your applications into etc, etcd. The orchestration is responsible by lots of、uh, the control, the control panel components, and it will give you lots of pod. If one pod emerge, then the scheduler will watch the changes of new pod, and if the new pod emerges, the scheduler will run all. Applications. It will have the byte execution and write it back. So this is the work of scheduler, and control panel has done all this work. And the final result is that you have bound your pod and panel. And Kubel Kubelet runs on all nodes. And if Kubelet finds that you have bound Pod and node, then it also find that、uh, it will take over all the work, fully up. This is the work of Kubernetes. It will call the process of container D and run the binary word. Container D will help you to call run C, and finally, run C will help you to set up the namespace, the C group. And change root. I help you to establish the container that you need in the application. So this is the working theory of Kubernetes. But a problem of Kubernetes is what exactly container is. So this is Linux container. It includes container runtime, the container image. So the runtime is the dynamic view and the boundary of your running process. Is composed of namespace and C groups, and container image. You can comprehend it as the static view for program data, dependencies, files, and、uh, the directories. So this is a compressed package, and also when you bind all this information together, which is root fs, this is the dy- dynamic static view of your program. So this is a Linux container. But、uh, differently today, we will talk about、uh, Kata containers. This is different to the Linux container. It uses the hypervisor isolation, like the VM. So the Kata containers, like this, has the Linux core. Kata container is a kind of a secure VM, fastest container. Like VM, it has strong. Isolation, but、uh, it, its performance is even robuster, and it's really agile. Later, I will share with you about more details. And container image uses the standard Linux container, supporting for the OCR image, and these parts are the same. But you might ask why we have Kata container project? Very simple, because we care about security. Including some financial scenarios, some uh, um, encrypted scenarios. In different scenarios, so we need the very safe or very secure container runtime. So compare with Linux container, if you use Docker, how can you apply the Docker in a secure way? You have lots of、uh, methods. For example, you need to drop off some Linux capabilities, and you need to have command. About what you can do and what、uh, you cannot do. Also, you can read only mount points. And third, you can use the mandatory access control (MAC), the app owner, or SE Linux, etc. Or you can drop the syscalls, so you can use the secure comp. But、I、have to、uh, emphasize that most of the cases will introduce new layer. 
for filtering, for the dropping of uh, the system costs. So here, the more containers you have, uh, the more overhead it will generate. But you have to make sure that what kind of sys costs you can drop. But this depends on different cases. In different scenarios, you need to consider different capabilities. But how will you communicate with your clients? It seems very easy, but actually it's very hard in practice. And most of the people will run off these containers in VMs because it's hard to guarantee the isolation and uh, the security. For Kyla containers, we have the same hardware virtualization and we have uh, the independent core. So the isolation, you can trust. Just like you trust the VM. More importantly, now in every port, we have the independent kernel for running, just like small-scale VM. So this allow the different version of uh, the kernel. And this is also why we say that kernel container is very helpful. It offers you the security, also fit for a needs. So how we run kernel containers in Kubernetes? And here, we need to know kubelet responsibilities. Just like call container D, we'll call kernel container. And kernel container will help us to set up the virtualization and uh, the Linux kernel. So here, you need to think how to support for all these different operations. Before, in Hyper, I worked on the interface, which is CRI of copper container. Well, CRI has one role. It describes what Kubelet expects from Carter container runtimes and the parameters in the runtime. So this is the theory for the CRI. But CRI is the container-centric interface. It does not has pod. You have to remember this. Why we do this? Because we do not hope that uh, every container the lower, the lower layer can understand all these concepts. And this is also why we need to make, the, make this the container-centric. And also in terms of maintenance, if you have this design in the CRI, every change of the feature will generate the CRI change. So for the interface, you will cost a lot for maintenance. This is CRI specification. It has defined the interfaces and containers. One is sandbox, another is container. What is sandbox? It describes the mechanism that you use to envelope the different containers. For Docker or Linux containers, it runs the infer container, which is very small. And this container is used to hold all pod level C groups. So very simple. If you use Linux or Kata, it will not have uh, the Kata level isolation for you. This is a difference. If you use Kata container, then Kata container will create the VM, the lightweight VM. So till the next phase, the container API for Docker, it will start up your container, but for Kata, this is different. Uh, the lightweight VM, the center box, it, the Kata will set up the namespace for all containers instead of starting up the containers. So you have this mechanism. And where is CRI? Like the control panel after it finishes all its work or schedule all the work. For Kubelets, it will start off the pod until the end. At the final step, it will call the CRI. And before the final step, in Kubelets or Kubernetes, it does not have the runtime concept. So after this phase, if you do use Docker Kubernetes, Kubernetes, uh, or in Kubernetes, Shim will be responsible. Or you will take the remote to write the CRI Shim to serve the CRI request. So this is what we're going to talk about today, about CRI Shim. What about its works? It will translate the CRI code into runtime code. For example, in pod, we have A container, B container. So you will submit this to container, and the Kubelet will find this kind of series. First of all, it will run the sandbox full. Then it will start up an info. 
which is fall. But kata will start up a, a VM, which is fall. This is different. So when you start up container A and container B, it will start off two containers. But in kata, in VM and in sandbox, it will start up two namespace. This is different. So that's the difference. So we will wrap up. If we can link the Kubernetes, uh, we need to do this job, we need to do the serial chain. We must uh, have the serial chain for the kata. And uh, we must think about how we can reuse the serial chain, maybe like the serial container D. And this is a container D chain. We must respond to the serial I request. So how can we re translate the request into the uh, operation? So that is what we are thinking about. So we must uh, have the CRI into the container D. So that is the work rationale. This is container D. It has its unique design. And for each container, it has a name of container CRI shame. And you see a bunch of container D. So for the card, it has a concept of sandbox. For the card, if it uh, want to match the the card, it must have the card shame so as to have the perfect matching so that the container D can be matched with the card code. So this is our way. And uh, But there are some problems. For VM best uh, VM container runtime, like the GY, that it must have the concept of the sandbox. But for the sandbox, this should be not, there shouldn't be a crime shame. So it will have a energy consuming. We don't want each container has such a shame. Actually, Sarah uh, served the Kubernetes. It helps the Kubernetes, but uh, not the container runtime. So if you want to do the integration for the VM, a card container or VM, for the API writing, it doesn't match. So it is very hard for you to do the integration. And it's very hard to maintain them due to the having the CI and and they have this own CR uh, realization. And like the just speaker said, they have their own crier and container D. So they need to do the runtime to write the container. But why do we have these things? We don't know. But as a cut maintainer, we must write two different integration for those two parts. So it is troublesome. It means that we must, uh, if we have a 100 CRM, we must uh, write a 100 integration. So it is complicated. So I want to propose such a container shame V2. So we have CI. CI decides Kubernetes and uh, the other relationship. So can we have the CPI to decide the CI shame to the uh, whether we can have the good interface? So you see, this is a the standard interface. So from CI to container C to run C. But now from CI to container D to shame V2, shame V2 to cut container. So what's the benefits of doing this? And we will see that. By doing this, for each part, you can have a designated uh, shame. At the very beginning, the container D starts a container D shame to do the response. But with the new API, we have container D start or stop. So for the stop and stop operation, how to realize it? This is what we need to do. So at the cut meeting, we can do like this. As a creating sandbox, the code start, we can install container D shame. But uh, when we move on to the container API, we don't need to start this. We reuse this sandbox. So by doing this, it is very good for us to realize it. And you will find that we have changed the way of realization. For the container D, it doesn't care the container shame. And you can do it by yourself. I do it by this way. I only do it. I only create container D shame in the sandbox. For the container level operation, we can go along the container uh, v, uh, container shame v, and we only do it in the sandbox. So, if you look at the slide, 
you find that this is our new way. You use the previous CR container D, but the previous they use the wrong C, and now you can uh, install container. And uh, next, in the cut, you can have a cut container D shame way too. So we must write uh, a bunch of CI previously, but now we need to focus on container CI to the uh, to realize the container shame VI. So how we do this? This is a, a bunch of API. You can create a star delayed. How to do the EXC, how to do the log. So all of this operation can be reflected on the same V2. So you see, it is uh, easier for us to realize it. But if we adopt the previous way, it is uh, not very good. And there is a lot of uh, technical factors. So all you need to do is to uh, match with the same way too. And my co-speaker, Fu Pan, will do the live demo. And he will show how to run the container D and how to how does the isolation like. And uh, we can run a few hundreds of uh, shame and you can uh, see the live demo. <sighs> Uh, can someone help me out here about the image? Okay, I, I just uh, got it done. Could you see the size? Okay, I can see it. Maybe you adjust the background. Can I adjust the font?
When you explain this, maybe you know the kata is a hypervisor. Maybe you have the question: Can it only run a byte right metal? Actually, my demo is a kata can only run on the GCE. You must remember, right? So it uses a nested virtualization. But actually, you need to know the GCE the VM. You have to have the VM open its VT. If you do the demo, you must make sure the the VM supports VP. Now we log in the cloud cluster, and it's not a local server. You must know about it. This is a real GCVM. It is a cluster. Its CPU is a ten code, and the, the uh, memory is four K. Actually, in this、uh, VM, you must know the.、Uh, you can imagine how you start a VM. Imagine the speed. Imagine the cut. The speed of the cut. This is our first demo. We create a very simple part, but you must know that、uh, we, when we use the cutter, you don't have to,、uh, or you, when you use the container D, you don't have to care about how you install this、uh, cluster. Well, not the fact that actually for the Kubernetes,、uh, you go the CI, so it is a simple cluster. And you see the cutter、uh, deploy deployment, and you can know that the content of the deployment. It's a two. Are running. Now after execution, and you know the the pod is running. You don't have to wait it. This is、uh, deployment of the pod, and we run two replications, and two are running. In order to. Now the private, we can know the kernel edition. We now it goes into the first container. We can see that the kernel、uh, version is a four point one four, and it's different from the other kernels version. This container runs it on its own、uh, kernel. We just initiate two pods. We can see the other pod.、Uh, what's the the kernel version of the other pod? You see, this version's code is four point one six point one two, and it says two pods have different kernel. By doing this, you can have your own or customized、uh, kernel version for this container based on your demands. So this is like a customized kernel for your pod. You can realize it. We can delete this too. Now we'll demonstrate the cut container and wrap C container in terms of their differences. So the purpose of the demonstration. Is to have a、uh, two pods. One pod is、uh, run the run C, and the other is running on the cut container. And these two run on two different nodes. And their program is、uh, the same. When they run on that, the cut pod. 
London host or uh, but the cut part the, the host will not be affected. Okay, now the set is called the node. The three nodes are ready. And we can see the deployment of the pod. This is a focal bomb. It will consume the resources of progress of process. Your host will be impacted. We will run the cutter. This is the status of a node. This is ready now, but later the run C status will be not ready. It will cross the node. I'm sure that you're now familiar with the reasons. It will run fog, limit, unlimited fog, because the the container has no isolation and it will consume the resources of the host and uh, this will be impacted and if you run this in Docker, you can think of the results. But what can you do to limit this? You can have imagine. This is not ready. The run C. So it has been crossed, and Kata node is ready. The Kata isolation security is better than the run C. The next demo, maybe you have a question. Kata container uses VM for implementation, but maybe VM is very passive. So on one node, how many containers you can start up? Before our demo, we can show you this. On the cutter node, this is the memory of cutter node. Before run, we have 60G memory for use. So we want to run 100 cutter containers on this memory. Let's see the uh, memory consumption in the end. This deployment will run a hundred cutter containers. This is its status. So now we have a hundred color containers are being created. One thing to note is what we are verifying here is not the application process, but color container after using a hypervisor its memory footprint, whether it's as large as you start off the VM or it's very small, it will determine the density that you can run. Most of the nodes are being run here. A hundred pod, you need two minutes to run the 100 containers. So we're waiting for the running of 100 containers, and I will finish this slide here.
We have talked a lot about the benefits. I'm sure that for continuity in the kata, you have your very brief understanding. So we have a case here, Kubernetes cluster. I want to run my container D. And in some scenarios, I want to run my business in the kata container. So this is our demo today. So you can see it has run C and kata containers. You can make your selection. And later, the Kubernetes will also have the runtime class support. So in the port, you can designate in the future this which runtime your pod will run. So you can install one container D, run C kind of containers. And in the pod, you can add one segment, which is kata, and the Kubernetes will automatically run it in the kata. So this is the future play. We haven't rolled out here, just finished a little part of it, but after the next versions, we will be make it ready. And also, this is the part of uh, the topic in GSOC competition. And uh, we also have uh, Liu Jin, our student for this competition. So we also, we only have 1.5 engineers and plus one students to finish the integration of kata containers. And you can see the improvement of efficiency and performance and maintenance. If you have interest, you can have a look at our branch and also the Carta Container official website pool has all this information, which means that in the future, this will become the official integration method officially. So in the future, if you have container run D, you can use it for the security container. It will give you lots of benefits. And uh, the responsible per person promised that they will finish the integration within two weeks. If you're interested in a project, you can have a look at this report in the official website. Liu Jin, Fu Pan, and I have our comments on website. It's very interesting because in the early stage, we did not use this V2, and we transitioned from V1 to V2. This is a progress for us. So this is my share with all of you today. If you have your questions, you can raise your questions now or have a communication with me offline. Thank you. Thank you. My question is, now you can run your process in the container, which means you cannot monitor or view the VM process running. In the existing container, it will send a message in the EV part. So does it support all this progress process? Also, the card container needs to sh um, they shoulder the risk, which is the stability for the kernel. And how about the production concerns? Second question first. The card container runs the gas kernel. You can make it yourself according to your needs. So what we offer is a kind of tool. And also Fupan will promote a user-friendly gas kernel tool. You can also customize it for the gas kernel. So we will not force you to use it. In terms of customization and uh, the added details, you can use it for open source. You can um, customize it. So we really recommend it. And you can use it in your Enterprise, very easy to answer. And for a first question, actually, Kata container is fitted for a part of, a part of the scenarios. So if you can monitor the container process on the host, this is a kind of a Kubernetes. And I believe for some programs and some users will run the top or star in the container to view the file information. So this also matches the Kata model. A lot of the scenarios, you need to make sure at which scenario you can use this. So Kata is a more VM-like. Any other questions? We have one minute left.
You just mentioned in your talk that in the VM we can run the higher version of the VM and kernel, but we have different two different kernels. Some VMs does not support for some features. But can we use all these features in Kata? First of all, we have Kata. It reduces the requirement for host. A Kata is different to Docker. It will not share the host kernel. So your host needs to reach a certain level of performance and to run the Kata. Thank you. Thank you. If you run Kata, sorry, the interpreter cannot hear clearly. On I/O processing, it has a different processing method. For example, pod through. Its performance is very good, but in some scenarios, you cannot use it. Use this. In some other scenarios, for example, lots of containers need to run a remote warning. It also covers two methods. If you use uh, the regular methods, PFS, the performance is very poor, but Kata supports it. And if we just mount one device into it, its performance is very robust, depending on your process. Uh, last question. I have understood that uh, JVisor, a Google project, also targets the container security optimization. What about the differences between Kata Container and uh, this Google project? Can you make any comparison between the two? Well, this project takes another project, the JVisor. They developed their kernel themselves to run the client VMs, like the small-scale VM, but they are totally different in terms of performance. The GVM, they have some differences. The open source code performance is similar to Kata, but inside, they have one thing very satisfactory. They have their own supervisor, but this is not open source. Some Google guy sitting here, you can ask them. They, have, they haven't made it open source. In terms of open source, actually, the data is very similar. And uh, Kata vs JVisor, some uh, experts have the qualitative, quantitative comparison. But I'd like to share with you that G this does not have a, a very good team, so they cannot finish this because they redevelop kernel. But Kata is a normal kernel depending on your own capability. If you're highly capable, I suggest you to play the Google's project because DIY is very interesting. And also you need to um, use the API yourselves. So this project supports a little amount of uh, APIs than Kata. And in the future, we'll have Linux D. So just waiting for the Kata interesting projects. Based on this information, I think that Kata is very cost effective for you. Sorry, I have uh, no time left. Peace be hard. We have VLED. Can use the original QC system. So Kata plans to support the native. Kata's position is the container will not run the VM image. It's too heavy, does not um, apply with the methods of Kubernetes. Thank you.